Hey guys, welcome to Module 3. In this module, I'll teach you how to identify a company's economic moat, as well as understand how wide it is and why it's so important. So what exactly is an economic moat? While regular cash flow, well-managed debt, and a competitive advantage all play a role in enduring business success, the ability to develop a wide economic moat is the key to what separates the winners from the losers over the long term. What we refer to as a moat is what other people might call competitive advantage. It's something that differentiates a company from its nearest competitors. In very simple words, an economic moat is basically anything that gives a business some form of built-in protection for its ongoing generation of cash flow. If you picture a company as a castle that is constantly under attack by its enemies or competitors, you'll have a better understanding of just how important an economic moat is in helping a business to thrive and survive in the marketplace. And here's what you should keep in mind when evaluating a company. Without one or more protective moats firmly in place, a formerly profitable business will soon find itself unable to maintain its market share and its revenues will begin to drop off. This also means that a company without a unique economic moat can't survive in the long term. It'll be harder for it to compete with other companies within the same industry, and it'll be harder for it to recover from market downturns, recessions, or financial disasters. Remember that a competitive advantage is essentially any factor that allows a company to provide goods or services that are similar to those offered by its competitors, and at the same time, outperform those competitors and profits. So the easiest way to determine the size of a company's economic moat is look at its historical operating performance. To evaluate a company's operating performance, you can use some profitability and efficiency ratios. Then you can compare its ratio values with that of its competitors and the industry average. If the company you're evaluating maintains a better and more efficient operating performance than its competitors, it's clearly the winner, and you can expect that it will survive in the next decades. In the next video, I'll give you a complete list of economic moats that a company may have, and I'll also talk a little bit more about economic moats and why they're so important. Okay, see you in the next video. The concept of the economic moat comes from Warren Buffett. He evaluates a company's economic moats to determine its ability to maintain a competitive advantage over its rivals and thus protect its long-term profitability and market share. So why do companies need a competitive advantage? A competitive advantage is any quality that enables a company to offer similar products to its peers while enjoying superior financial performance. Over time, companies are more likely to lose their competitive advantage because as they grow increasingly profitable, competitors are more likely to replicate their methods or create even better ones. As soon as the level of a company's profits is significant enough to warrant attention, it opens itself up to attack from competitors who are looking to enter the marketplace with the intention of grabbing a share of those profits for themselves. This is exactly where a wide economic moat offers the protective barrier a business needs to prevent other companies from stealing its earnings. Or in other words, establishing economic moats can help companies protect their long-term profits. In reality, an economic moat serves as a competitive advantage over other companies within the same industry. But what sets it apart is the fact that the advantage is sustainable over a very long period of time. While these moats can be created in a number of different ways, and may be either narrow or significantly wide, it only stands to reason that the more of them a business can build, the better off it will be. Let me ask you a quick question. How can you feel confident about estimating a company's ability to generate earnings down the road if that ability is not protected in some way? You know, sustainability is the key to consistent and ever-growing revenues, and the economic moat is the key to that sustainability. While having a competitive advantage may allow a business to temporarily outperform its competitors, the economic moat is a benefit that's built to last, and it will ultimately determine whether a company is set up for prolonged success or inevitable failure. From an investment point of view, the longer a company's economic moat can hold firm, the longer you will benefit from its profits. It's important to be aware that there are some false business moats in the marketplace, 
masquerading as the real thing, and you should be careful not to be taken in by these imposters. Features like superior products, outstanding marketing strategies, and high-performance management teams are all wonderful attributes for a business to have. But on their own, they are not enough to provide a long-term competitive advantage. Products and marketing tactics can easily be copied, and so require the presence of a deeper, more durable barrier to support and protect them from would-be thieves. So make sure that you'll only invest in companies with moats that generate superior shareholder returns over the long run. And you should also be extremely selective and focused on wide moat stocks. Although economic moats tend to be more qualitative than quantitative in nature, there are a number of ways you can recognize when a company has one or more in place. A significant amount of cash flow and a strong operating performance are common to all businesses with an effective economic moat. But here are five other factors that play a vital role in the establishment of a sustainable competitive advantage. In this module, we'll talk about cost advantage, efficient scale, intangible assets, network effect, and switching costs, and how a company can utilize these wide moats to gain the upper hand over their competitors. In the next video, we'll talk about the first one, which is the cost advantage. Okay, see you in the next video. In this video, we'll talk about the advantage of having lower costs. A business that has the ability to sell its goods or services for less than its competitors will have a distinct competitive advantage in the marketplace. Naturally, the only way to accomplish this and still earn a profit over the long term is to be able to manufacture a product or provide a service at a lower cost than everyone else. This is often the case for larger companies with the resources to buy in bulk or to operate more efficiently for a lower cost, and also for those types of businesses that can be effectively located close to both the source of their income and to their customers, such as in the case of a local quarry. And here's a quick note you'll want to look for companies with a cost advantage that competitors cannot replicate. Remember that an economic moat should be something that's sustainable and cannot be easily duplicated. This means that if you want your company to have a sustainable competitive advantage, you must make it hard or impossible for your competitors to copy your methods. Similarly, companies can do this by developing and patenting new technology before their rivals. So that's why when evaluating a company, you should also spend some time reading its quarter and annual reports to see if they invest any money in R&D. Companies with significant cost advantages can undercut the prices of any competitor that attempts to move into their industry, either forcing the competitor to leave the industry or at least impeding its growth. And companies with sustainable cost advantages can maintain a very large market share of their industry by squeezing out any new competitors who try to move in. You now understand the cost advantage. In the next lecture, we'll talk about the size advantage. See you in the next video.